All right, come on in, hit the like button. Think about subscribing if you're not ready. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Most importantly though, welcome to the Viking family. All are welcome. Um, so this is gonna be my personal opinion slash review for the 2020 slash 2023 in America. Action, horror, and comedy stat satire film called Mad Heidi. This is a completely uh, crowd-funded film, no studios help at all, and a debut for the directoral team of Jonathan Hartman and Sandro Kolsopsin, and I'm sorry if I butchered those. Um, it was in select theaters for a short time around the world, and still is in some, I think. But I missed the chance to go see this. Uh, so I ordered a Blu-ray from their site, and this is how I watched it. And I can't see it any other way in the United States of, of, of getting it as of right now. Uh, the players of plot. Swiss mountain girl Heidi is all grown up and goes on a crusade against a cheese magnet after her boyfriend is killed for legally illegally trading cheese. Heidi is abducted by brutal government troops and must defend herself and fight a war against the cheese fueled Ministry of Hate. Here is the cast. This film looks and feels like if director Quentin Tarantino made this, it was high quality but has that old grainy look with the worn look to it. This was cheesy, corny, and gory all on purpose. Pure satire. It's the same type of category as the crowdfunded film that was the iconic Kung Fury, but set in Switzerland ruled by cheese Nazi knockoffs. No, really, there were more cheese than there was gore. Rest in cheese, bitch. The acting for the main lead was fantastic and stood out, in my opinion. Acting all the way around wasn't bad either. The cheesy part of the story, honestly, wasn't that too overpowering, so it was very fun and entertaining to watch. Here is my rating. This was easily the most swish film I have ever seen in my life. Uh, and that's really saying something because I can't recall anything more swish than the Charles Angels, I think, to that one scene. But this whole film was just pure swish. I loved every bit of this film and can't wait for the second one to be made. Honestly, I might look into the crowdfunding uh, site if they do want to make a second one. But it looks like by the ending, there is going to be a second one. But I guess it's going to have to be crowdfunded. So we'll have to probably wait a while. Um, but this definitely is not a film for everyone. Just like Kong Fury. But let me know your thoughts down below. I personally highly recommend this film. It was worth every penny I spent. And it was worth every penny that everyone that crowdfunded this spent. Um... So uh, either Thursday or Friday, I'll have something else out. Uh, the Dungeons and Dragons new film, the blocker, big, big blockbuster one. Um, so, uh, but remember, I love you all. Please stay safe and skull.